yeah so welcome back and uh, now we'll start with the basics of php as i said i, I have i have started my vamp server right it is there in the you know it, i have to start it again so i'll st open my start menu i'll type vamp there and it will start yeah so it is starting and it will turn if you have the latest i have the latest version of vamp which is 2.0 i and if you have the latest it is something like w in the taskbar which will show up green w means uh, it is working fine so i will write my entire code in this folder in ww folder triple w folder and in that folder i have created class folder so that things are separated and also uh, this as as i said you must have a little bit knowledge about web so everything is stored in the ww folder and whenever you write your ip in the browser the files are called from that folder and by default an index file is called so index.php is called yeah this is my vamp as you can see so by default index.php is called and uh, then uh, yeah so you can write your code and through index.php and then or maybe directly call that file in your browser so as i said we can open our notepad so i'm opening my notepad yeah it is there so to un first we'll see what is the basic syntax of php right To start a PHP tag, this is the syntax that you use. I'll increase a little font size, I guess. That will be it's, it's good, I guess it's good. Yeah. So PHP tag. Uh, here we type all the PHP code that we have to write. Okay, so so first function that everybody makes is like let's say hello world. So we'll also make the same function. To print something on screen in PHP, we use echo keyword. And then since it's a string, so we will write it in single quotes and hello world, right? And every statement in PHP ends with semicolon, right? Now the question, uh, how to save this file? So when you make a file in Notepad, the problem is by default it is a .txt file, but to uh, make run a PHP code, you need to save it as a PHP file. So you go to save as I'm saving it in class file use all files and name it let's say as i said by default index .p, index file is served so i will name it as index.php remember this save as type all files right so now i'm saving it as index.php yes yeah, so it is there index.php and now uh, when i'll run this same folder in my browser it will open up the code that i have written that uh, hello world code right I'm opening it to open this file. We type localhost and then the folder name, which is class. And then, since it's index.php, we need not to type, otherwise, we will have to type the file name as well. So, when I type enter, uh, it will open by default. The yeah, so as, as I was saying, when I type localhost class, this will open up, right? So, if we uh, view the page source. So whatever we uh, the output is, we will see only that. We won't see the PHP code. So we are always sure that whatever code that we have written is safe, right? The logic that we have written. Actually, the point is PHP is a server-side language. So why, what is a server-side language? Server-side languages are executed first at the server side. So in this case, the server is our computer only. And then only the final output is being displayed not the code of, is being displayed only the final output is thrown to the browser and browser displays it accordingly as per its standard right so we do not have to worry about our code yeah uh, obviously i have not covered the basic definition of php that is very simple you can always go to the website and study about it we will cover the what, how to you know use php and how we can be a power user so basic definition are very simple to go and I'll cover it anyhow in between. So what is, uh, yeah, server-side language, right? So this is a server-side language and we do not have to worry about the code. Now we'll open our uh, notepad again and we'll type some other code, let's say. First, we'll understand how to declare the variables in it. Generally, if you have studied Java or C++, the earlier syntax was you have to type the data type as well, right? So 
So in C++ we use what we used to do is uh, we will declare the data type first and then the variable name and then the value we want to assign it. Right. So in PHP we do not have to worry about the data type. This is the best part, one of the best part, right? Let's say I want to declare a variable with name, maybe name, right? So what I'll I do is I just type the dollar symbol, which means it's a variable, and then assign it the value. Let's say I want to assign it the uh, maybe this uh, any uh, my name only. So my name is Ankush. Right. So I have assigned it the value. Simple. It will automatically the compiler will automatically decide whether it's a string or a integer type or a double type. We don't have to do not have to worry about it. Obviously, we can explicitly you know typecast or upcast or you know downcast accordingly. So let's say I want to echo the variable. So what I'll do is echo dollar name. Okay. So this will echo the name for me. Now I refresh. The name is printed. Fine. So this is how we declare the uh, variable in PHP. Now we'll understand a little about strings in PHP. It's basically the same everywhere, you know, whenever you want to do. Let's say how you concat two variables. So let's say I'll declare two variable as first name and then last name. Name equals to Sharma. Right. I want to concat these variables. Okay. So first name dot. Let's say I want to give a space. So I'll concat a string with a empty space in between and last name. Right. I'll re save it. I'll refresh it, and I get the same output. Respective. Right. So this is how you concat or join two variables. You can always perform arithmetic operations. Supposedly you want to do. Uh, 1 plus 2 and 2. So, first variable is let's say f is equals to 1, dollar s equals to 2, and you can always echo dollar f plus dollar s. So, it will do automatically for you. Yeah. In integer, you can also avoid the strings because it's an integer. So, no, sorry, quotes. Okay. So this was basically how to declare and you know concat. Now let's say I want to echo first name in a different line and last name in a different line. So in HTML we have a br tag. So if I want to embed HTML code in my PHP code, I will echo it as a string, right? So PHP doesn't recognize HTML codes. So we will echo it as a string, and when the output will go to the browser, the browser will automatically understand that it's a br tag of html and will automatically input in next line so browser will decide that whether it will go in the next line or not not the php code it will just echo it as a single normal string so when i refresh yeah the, it has been printed in different line if i view the source br is visible there you can see because uh, uh, the html code is always visible when you do page source the PHP code is always hidden, but HTML code is always available, right? I will play a little bit with uh, more with the strings. So, what is the difference between a single quote and a double quote in strings in PHP? So, single quote has a little bit extra, a double quotes has a little bit extra logic behind it. So, whenever I write anything in double quotes, it is first comp, uh, it is first uh, this the quote or the double the string written between the double quotes is first searched for a variable by PHP compiler if there is any variable. So if it finds any variable, it will print the value there, and then it will output the string. So it is compressed, it is uh, processed first, and then the output is generated. So to understand the logic, let's say I write it this way: my name is dollar first name space dollar last name uh, we will remove this we don't need it anymore okay so i'll save it and this is the output so you understand uh, the string is first checked for variables and the variables value is then put there and then the output is made if i would have used single quote instead of double then it will directly output first name and last name because the single string is directly given to the browser, uh, I mean it's just 
uh, printed as such without uh, without any processing. So, if you want to uh, print variables in between, then only use double quotes because otherwise it's uh, unnecessarily increasing the process in time. Okay, so you can always use single quotes when you are printing a string out with simple. And uh, let's say if I want to, you know, input or I, if I want to print a maybe a single quote in my string. Okay, so supposedly I want to print my name is this thing, Ankush Sharma. Now the problem with this is there are single quotes at the at both end, and there's a single quote between the string as well. So the compiler will get confused whether this this string is ending here, and then we have written this s and again a single quote. So it will give an error to us. If I uh, process this code, I'll get a syntax error because there's a problem with the syntax. The alternate solution is one solution is I'll say is I do it this way then it won't give me an error okay another solution is let's say if I want to print it this way only because let's say if I want to in, uh, make something like Ankush says hello then what right now I don't have any solution because I have to print double quote I have to print single quote Either I use string concatenation, which is a very, you know, it will become complicated when the strings are long. So we can use an escape character. So this is the symbol for escape character. When I use escape character, it will understand that this is a part of string and not the part of, you know, some syntax error or something. Okay. So when I refresh, I'll get my desired output. Okay. Clear with the strings.